one thing that I want to go ahead and show you is adding another form of content to a single site. Let's say we want to create something like a version, a versioned, uh, well, version of, of our product. Uh, if you have something like version one, version two, or if you have maybe different languages for your product as well, we can do this by adding more content to a, uh, a site. So if we have our site here, you'll see that this, we're just looking at the normal content right here. But if we want to add more content, something like more translations, new versions, et cetera, we can go ahead and do that by, well, once, once we have the space, we'll be able to add it in here. What we're gonna start by doing is starting by creating a new space. Uh, and what I'm gonna do is actually take us through importing some content that we have somewhere else. But one thing that I wanted to just mention here is this is not published at all. Uh, we can publish this as a new site if we go ahead and create a new doc site and then link up the content here. But what I want to demonstrate is how to use different variants if you have different versions of your content, uh, et cetera. So I'm going to go ahead and name this headquarters. <clears throat> and inside of here, uh, we can head back to our settings, head down to add content, and we'll now see this headquarters space here. If you have many different spaces, you'll see pretty much all of the available ones that you can link up. But if I go ahead and add this content here, we'll now see that this headquarters docs are added to this initial site. <clears throat> this might take just a second to update, but let me go ahead and refresh and we'll see if it's already there. For the two different pieces of content we can now see in the header, so we can take a look at the webinar test content, or we can see headquarters up here <clears throat> and switch between the two uh, just as easily uh, like this. So again, this is really useful if you are working on different things like translations or you're working on different versions, you can be sure that your users will just head to one section here. So, you know, webinar team at Gitbook.io, webinar test, but if they wanna change to different, you know, translations or different languages, uh, different versions, they can do so just by clicking this in the upper uh, upper header here. And you'll be able to manage everything from a very easy, uh, easy UI right here. Another thing that I wanted to mention as well, and what you'll see from these options too, is you're able to set a different version as a default version. And this is going to be the, the version that's going to show up uh, by default. So when I went back here and edited the Gitbook URL, we had the main version at webinar test. Again, webinar team.gitbook.io slash webinar test. <clears throat> uh, and whatever version that you select as the default section content here, that's what's going to appear when you first load that. You'll still have the option to switch between the two, but uh, that, that's, that's just the version that's going to uh, be shown, shown at the beginning.